Welcome to Pine Tree Line. My name is Doug and uh, we're all about the outdoors here on the channel and with that every once in a while we do a review and Kemimoto was nice enough to send us a pair of heated socks. Something that you may be interested in? Let's check them out. Kemimoto is a motorcycle um, accessory company and with that, they do have some heated products. I know I've uh, tried their heated gloves already. I have a review of those. They have heated jackets. And they also have heated socks. And I thought it would be interesting when they contacted me to, um, to get the heated socks because being in the outdoors all the time, especially in the cold weather climate of Northern Ontario, Canada, these would come in really handy. So I can say, after using them, uh, that they can be a useful product for uh, outdoor activities depending what you're doing. Up on the top part is the battery pack which is of course removable because you want to grab these and you'll uh, charge them. These are also washable. So basically you're plugging in the the battery pack, you're turning them on and then you're using them uh, with this remote button here which uh, has your temperature settings. So you got a low, medium, and high temperature setting, and they fit nicely right in the top of the sock. I had thought originally when I first saw them that um, having the top of the, the wiring and stuff kind of sticking out, you can you can tuck it in there, but they uh, they tell you to put you know the top facing because that's how you're going to turn the battery on and uh, access the uh, plug and whatnot. I thought maybe it would be better to put them in uh, the other way, uh, which is still possible, I guess. Either way though, I've wore them both ways and either way it's comfortable. So I did write some notes on my phone here, so I'm gonna grab that. They're a taller sock and they're like that because uh, I'm guessing they're for uh, boot wear. Uh, for most uh, uh, motorcycle riders will wear a higher boot. So I could see this uh, easily being used so that that battery pack is outside your boot. I actually, uh, I have tall winter boots that I wear and the battery pack was actually inside the boot. Not a problem at all. It was, it was actually quite comfortable. I didn't feel the battery packs at all. You could charge both batteries at the same time. They come with a dual charger that, with uh, two extensions. The sock itself is very high quality. Uh, no issues there. My dog is running around here. It's not only an overly thick sock, which is also good. So if you wanted to layer up and wear another, you know, maybe a wool sock on top. The battery itself is curved. And so that contours to your leg, which is also very nice. And again, I, when I was wearing them, I didn't feel them at all at any point. There's a battery level in the front of the battery here. And it's got four dots, so you can keep an eye on how much power you got left in the battery itself. So uh, blue is going to be low, red is high, and green is medium. Or you'll see that in the top of the remote here when you're using it. So you know what, what uh, level of heat you have going on in the sock. Uh, you can turn the socks off with the remote, uh, but ultimately the battery will stay on until you uh, physically turn it off with the uh, button on top of the battery. And I'm guessing that's why they suggest that you uh, put them in the top of the sock with the uh, power button facing out. The heating pad, the only place that these are heated is in the, in the uh, ball of your foot. Uh, the way the wiring uh, goes in here, it's, uh, it's encased in a very thin pad in here. And that's the only place that they're actually heated. But that heat kind of uh, translate into your foot, which would get the blood flowing in your foot and in your toes. I'm sure a lot of people will be wondering uh, if it keeps your toes warm, including myself. That was my biggest issue. Uh, the heating pad's not directly on your toes, but having the pad of your foot so close to your, uh, so close to your toes heated uh, gets the blood flowing and uh, thus, you know, warming up your toes to a certain degree. As far as the heating levels go, uh, at the low level, you're looking at um, 113 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit and that's good for seven or eight hours. If you go in the medium setting, the green setting, you're looking at 131 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit and that's good for six to seven hours. And at the red of the high setting, you're looking at 140 to 149 degrees Fahrenheit and that's good for four to six hours. How you can use these socks is probably uh, most important or where you would use them. And in terms of what I would use them for um, camping wise, uh, the one thing about camping is you're moving around a lot, you're collecting wood, you're putting up your tent, you're uh, exerting yourself and your foot ends up sweating and then that sweat will translate into your uh, felts of your boots and usually that'll keep your feet cold for the remainder of your time. So I wouldn't use these in my boot, I use something with uh, um, a sock, 
with a vapor barrier and then a wool sock on top. That way all the sweat stays inside the vapor barrier, not getting into the faults of my boots. Where I could see these very useful when camping is overnight, uh, when you're sleeping, you take off your wet socks, you wanna keep your, uh, your feet warm, uh, you put these on and that would do uh, a great job while you're sleeping of keeping your feet nice and toasty warm. But uh, besides that, if you're uh, into the ATVs or uh, you're in the side-by-side, -side, you're, you're off-roading, you're spending a lot of time in a vehicle that way, uh, these would be great to keep your feet warm, especially in the cooler climate, cooler temperatures we have up here in Northern Ontario. I know those trail riders would love these. Uh, I can also see it for uh, doing work outside, snow blowing, stuff where you're not overly uh, necessarily exerting yourself, feet wise anyways. Hunting, ice fishing, ice fishing you spend a lot of time sitting around waiting. These would be perfect for ice fishing on your snowmobile, uh, walking your dog, uh, skating, skiing, out on your toboggan, watching your kids play in the uh, park or outside during the winter. You know in the winter time a lot of guys around here are riding their fat bikes so be good for that. Uh, riding any bike, a dirt bike, motorcycle, what have you. So these are going for about $80 Canadian on Amazon.ca uh, and if you purchase them on Amazon.ca there's going to be a code in the description along with the link to Amazon for 10% off. Find the right use for uh, heated socks or gloves or jackets or what have you. I think they're great. I think they're a great product. I think that you could, uh, you could definitely find uses for them. They definitely work, they definitely provide heat, no issue there. I don't think that if it gets down to minus 20 or minus 25, that they're gonna be a, you know, an only choice. But I could see if you put a wool sock on top of these in that kind of uh, cold uh, temperatures, I think that would actually work pretty good. So I haven't tried them in super cold temperatures yet, but I will, it'll be interesting to see how they work out. So anyways, if you're interested, links are in the description. If you go to Amazon and use the code, that'll give you another 10% off. Uh, Kemimoto makes a lot of great products. Check them out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.